Okay guys, I'm going to show you guys how to write a quick program. Uh, we're going to sh write a program that will automatically solve the quadratic formula. So the first thing I want to do is hit program and you'll notice it will say execute, edit, or new. Um, we're going to create a new program so I'm going to select new and then hit enter. Now it's going to ask me for the um, name. Notice that the A is highlighted so it's already in uh, alpha mode which means I just have to choose uh, the letters above the keys. On my particular calculator they're going to be highlighted in green so I'm going to call this quad form. Uh, so I go Q um, U A D form and once I'm done entering in the name I hit enter and so what I want to do now is I want to put a uh, I want to put in a prompt so I hit program and that'll pull up a list of controls and prompt is an input output um, thing and so prompt basically what that's going to allow me to do the second option here is that's going to allow me to prompt uh, an input for a variable. So I'm going to prompt an input for a variable A and then I'm going to choose a comma. Then I want to prompt for the variable B um, and then I'm going to choose a comma then the variable C and then when I'm done with that if I hit enter I go to the next line. Now what this does is it's going to prompt, it'll give me a prompt and ask for a numerical value for A, a numerical value for B, and a numerical value for C. Remember that a quadratic formula, in fact let's, uh, let's just kind of refresh what we're doing here. If I were to say x, uh, well let's put a number in front of it, 2x, whoops, 2x squared um, plus um, 3x minus 5. That gives me a function, a quadratic function, um, that looks sort of like this. Okay, and it looks like it crosses at about 1 and maybe two and, negative 2 and a half or something like that. But that is a quadratic. And remember that the 2 is the A term uh, 3 is the B term and 5 is the C term. So what we're doing is we are going to go back and edit our quad form and so we're prompting for those A, B, C terms. Okay, and That's what we're prompting for and then we're going to just kind of plug them into a formula. So we're going to say um, if you remember the quadratic formula is negative B and it's plus or minus but we're going to have to do this in two separate um, uh, calculation. So I'm going to say plus the square root of b squared minus 4 times a times c and that's the top part divided by start parentheses 2 times a and what we want to do is we want to store that into the variable Let's put that in D. And now for the negative sign, we're going to say negative B, and now we're going to put minus, and now we're going to put the square root of B squared minus 4 times A times C. Close the parentheses, divide by 2. A, and then we'll store that into the variable E. Lastly, we want to display our answers. And so just, just before I display the answers, just know what I'm going to do, the way the program's going to work is, and you'll see it in a second, what we're going to do is we're going to, the calculator will prompt for numerical values for variables A, B, and C plug them into this top equation and that's going to give us the positive root or principal root of the discriminant and that will be stored, that numerical value will be stored in the variable D and then the next line will take the negative square root of the discriminant and store that in value E. Okay. So the next thing that we want to do is we're going to hit program 
and we want to input output. So we want to display that information. And so we're going to display D and E. So I'm going to say second D comma E. And that's our program. That's it. Basic program. Prompt for A, B, and C. Plug it into this formula. Store that numerical calculation into D. Plug it in this formula. Store it into E. And then display those. So now let me see if I can remember what it was. A is positive 2, 3, negative 5. So now let's hit program. And now we're going to execute. And we execute it. What is A? A was 2. Um, B was 3. And C was negative 5. And we will hit enter. Boop. And, yep, sure enough, it's 1 and negative 2.5. I hope that helps with uh, how to program your calculator, and you can certainly use this for your quadratic formula.